Good morning, there you are. Today is Sunday, January 23rd. Welcome back to the garden. It's a glorious morning. It's gonna get cold again tonight. We're gonna be on a little roller coaster ride. So what better time than to tell you a secret about the leaf mold? Looked like I was putting dirt in it, didn't it? Well, let me go put this on the garden and I'll show you the secret. One of the things Ruth Stout said, and I transfer it over to what we're doing now, she said, who am I to tell somebody how to arrange flowers? So who am I to tell you how to rake? But I can show you what we have when we rake. Because right now is about the time we want to start putting the leaf mold on. And I want to show you the secret of the leaf mold. I know we've been raking leaves a lot. A lot of that in the early part of the fall was just to keep the garden covered. You got to keep that life covered. Now if you got an area where the leaves normally congregate, just let the wind go ahead and pile them up in there. And as they break down, look at how nice that soil is underneath there. That'd be beautiful in the garden, but we also want to leave that here for the trees. We're not going to take all the leaves. What I take today's, they're still going to blow some back in on it, so I'm not worried about that. But you want to see what happens when it piles up against the fence? This is where the real magic happens. You see that right here? See how, see the fungus that's in there? That's that leaf mold that we're looking for. Look how beautiful those fungus strands are. That's what we want as part of our living soil. We've got trees, roots, microbacteria, there's a microfungi, there's a protozoa. All of that's in this top soil right here. Now I'm not gonna take very much of it, but go ahead and rake it up. Now when you go ahead and rake this up with your leaves, you pile that up on your garden. From what I understand, as your red wigglers and your night crawlers go ahead and consume this, becomes part of the web of life, it inoculates your garden. This is beautiful stuff. So that's why I'm out here today. And this is the real secret about leaf mold. You don't have to get a plastic bag, fill it up, make holes, leave it in the corner. Just let the wind blow them up against the fence, leave them alone. Now I've done this every year for the last couple of years. So this has been cleaned off three or four times and see, all that, all those white strands in there. You see all those white strands in there? That's all fungus. That is beautiful. We want that on our garden. Kind of judge whether or not I'm getting too much. If I can't pick it up with two rakes, I don't need it. While you're raking these leaves back, you get a little, just a light little bit of that top layer. That's just enough to inoculate your garden really well. You want to make a small change, change the way you do things. Put some leaves on your garden. You want to make a big change, change the way you think about things. Let the wind blow it up against a wall or a fence, let it do its thing, then put it on the garden. You'll be amazed at what happens. Now I've been asked if the deep mulch really works. If it really does keep out a weed free garden. I just raked over 16 feet against the fence. And if you count the wires, it's not more than four inches thick. And that's not been accumulating for years. This is the third year I've cleaned this fence off and we got no weeds growing. And these are tree roots that have gone out. Look how deep, look how nice that soil is. Now I could dig this up and put it on the garden, but I need this for the trees out here. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this alone. I mean, we haven't run a pH on this, but I guarantee you this is fungal dominated. And what did we learn in our lessons? Weeds don't like to grow in a fungal dominated soil. I don't mind leaving this uncovered for just a little while. The wind will blow more leaves in on this and the cycle will start all over again. And here's the beauty of changing the whole way you think. You gonna let the wind help you? When you're done, you're done. It'll still be here tomorrow. all you got to do to inoculate your garden and it doesn't cost anything you can let the wind help you out 
and you do it on your own time. We will talk more about compost, compost tea, some other ways to maybe accelerate the process a little bit. But you saw how beautiful that soil was underneath those leaves. We've just transported that fertility into the garden. It's an ongoing process. This is a living soil after all. And anything living needs to be fed. You can do this too. I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple more loads. Now if you wanna see more secrets of the living soil, click that link right there and meet me back here in the garden. And if you wanna see what happens with the giant sweet potato, click that link right there and I'll meet you back in the garden. Until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.